Bozeman, knocking out two Vikings with one stone. Dallas still stinks. Yo, by the way, King Ding back here. So we got some Eagles breaking news. This didn't take long at all. The Eagles signing a defensive end just a little while ago. We're going to get into it in a second, but before we do that, if you're new to the channel and you like the content, make sure to like. More importantly, make sure you subscribe for Eagles stuff every day, football stuff every day, streaming Eagles stuff every week. You don't want to miss it. And if you've been subscribed for a while, you know the deal. Just double check. Double moonwalk check. Make sure you're still subscribed. Now, Let's get right in to this mother humper because there's a lot to say. Uh, we are getting breaking news that the Eagles put Derek Barnett on injured reserve and then go ahead and pick up a defensive end. Uh, Jeff Mosher is reporting, Pound Eagles placed Derek Barnett on injured reserve and shrewdly signed defensive end Janarius Robinson from the Vikings practice squad as they prepare for Monday night's game versus the Vikings. This is Howie Roseman's. This is Howie Vision. We're all just living in it. Napoleon with his Napoleon hat, his pocket pencil protector. The little guy is making moves and he's smart. This is a this is a shrewd move by Howie Roseman, okay? One, you need to add another defensive end, of course. We definitely know that. But why not pick him off the Minnesota Vikings? A practice squad, now you got intel. Now he can come in, give you everything you need. Everything he knows he can give you leading into the game. Now, I'm going to be truthful. I don't know a lot about Janarius Robinson, okay? Um, he's he's a, He seems like a pretty big defensive end, though. Six foot five, 258 pounds, um, only 24 years old, okay? And, and here's, here's what the write-up is on him, okay? Uh, and this is, comes from uh, the Eagles.com. Um, here's what you need to know about the newest Eagle. A fourth round pick of the Vikings in 2021 out of Florida State. The 24 year old Robinson is six foot five, 258 pounds. Robinson spent his rookie season on injury reserve. I'm not sure what the injury was. In 2020, his final season at Florida State Robinson started all nine games, recorded 26 tackles, posted seven tackles for loss. That's pretty good. Notched three sacks. He led the Seminoles in sacks and hurries and was second in tackles for the loss. Um, so, I mean, it, it sounds like they got a prospect with some upside. I was, I was on the Minnesota... Um, I was looking at some old Minnesota clips of him and some videos of him, and I was listening to their film study on him. And these guys were like, and, and if I can find the video, I'll put the link in the description. But they were, they were like giddy about this guy. They thought this kid had a lot of upside. They thought he could make an immediate impact after he was drafted in the fourth round. So we'll see what kind of upside this kid has. I don't expect him to come in and start. Um, you know, as I said in my last video when we were talking about defensive ends, what they're going to do at the defensive end position. Uh, we're talking about JPP, Everson Griffin, Robert Quinn, you know, possibly doing those kind of stuff. I, I was more interested, and I said that before I do anything, I want to give Taron Jackson a chance. And that's what I think the Eagles should do. The kid had a sack last year. Why can't he get two and a half sacks this year? You get two and a half sacks, you, you, you're Derek Barnett. You're giving us Derek Barnett stuff, okay? So it looks like by this move that that could be the logic. Um, now, maybe this is purely intel. Hey, we need another defensive end anyways, so why not bring this kid in from Minnesota? Let's see what he got. If, if, if you know, he can give us some good intel, we like what we see, uh, maybe we keep him on our practice squad or something like that. Uh, we'll see. But I like the idea that you're picking that you're picking somebody from the Vikings uh, roster, picking what you know their brain, picking what they know about Minnesota. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a great idea. You kill two birds with one stone, or two Vikings with one stone. So I like it. Now, 
I don't I don't know if this guy is going to stick long term. I, I really don't know. Um, but I do know this. Taron Jackson, I think, can play. I think he deserves an opportunity. Let's see what he could do for the first few weeks. Uh, I don't think it could be any worse than what Derek Barnett's given us over the last few years. Um, and if he doesn't, if it doesn't seem like it's working out, then you know what? Play this kid. Give this kid a chance. Or go out and get somebody else. I like the idea of waiting because two things. One, you get to see if your young guys can play and if they can develop. You give them an opportunity. Two, by waiting you know, towards the trade deadline to possibly make a move, it gives you opportunity to see more players who are on teams right now who can come in and help you a lot. You, it gives them more time to become available because as teams, you know, are out of the playoff hunt or looks like they're going to have a bad year, that's when you're going to start hearing of names of guys that could be traded. So to me, it's a good time to just sit back, wait, play Teron Jackson. You want to give this kid, Janarius Robinson, a chance? I'm okay with it. I'm open to it. To me, the biggest issue, and I was going to do another video about this, but I'll just say this now uh, and get it out. The biggest issue I have with with the Eagles right now is Jonathan Gannon, the defensive coordinator. I don't like how he is running this defense. I don't like it. And I was listening to his press conference today. He basically said, well, we all know that they took the gas, basically took the pedal off the gas after that pick six, uh, which you can't do in the NFL. When you take your pedal, your foot off the pedal, you take that foot off the gas, Sometimes teams start getting rolling, and and you can't you can't turn it back on. You can't get it going again. So you never do that. Um, but if if we don't have a guy that can help to get these guys to generate pressure, we're going to have problems. We just we're we're going to have problems. So it doesn't matter. Uh, last week we had one sack, one sack. And I don't like it. And I'm kind of holding back a little bit because I, I do want to talk about Hassan Reddick. And I do want to talk about Jordan Davis specifically, which could take me 10, 15 minutes to go through. So I, I definitely don't don't want to um, overdo it because I want to save some of that for the next video. But I think that the way to go for the Eagles is to let Teron Jackson play. Let him play. Let's see what he can do. I kind of liked him last year. I do. So I think the Eagles have enough where they'll be fine. Uh, like I said, you're only replacing two and a half sacks, and you're probably down five penalties already. So I think this is a shrewd move by the Eagles. I'm not totally sure this is about the rest of the year, about keeping this guy on the roster, more, more than it's about hey, we need something from this position, the defensive end. We need another defensive end on our roster. Let's get somebody off the Vikings practice squad, bring them in, and get intel for Monday night's game. Monday night's game is huge, and the Eagles have to be better, especially defensively, if they want a chance to win. If they don't get the Cousins, they're going to they're gonna get, they're gonna lose. You better knock him on his butt. You better get to him, and pressure is going to be a big deal. So... I like the idea of bringing this kid in as some intel. Not sure if this is the long-term answer or the you know the answer for the rest of the year at the defensive end position. I think Teron Jackson's got to get the first opportunity. That's the main thing. Give Teron Jackson the first opportunity. If he can go out and he can do it, great. Then you're then you're good to go. You just play. I don't even think he doesn't even need to be great. All he needs to do is go out there. And if he can get you three sacks, four sacks on the year, he's already equaled Derek Barnett's production. And if you can equal his production, then 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 you, there you go. I think the Eagles are going to be fine in terms of personnel and who they have. The question is going to be the defensive coordinator and can Jonathan Gannon actually go out and can he actually put these guys in the right the right places. And give them the best opportunity to be successful. That's what it comes down to. They've got the players. They've got the talent. You know, people keep saying to me, well, Derek Barnett, Derek Barnett was a loss. You know, Derek Barnett's not a starter. He was not a starter anymore. He barely made it back. He's a backup defensive end. He's a first-round pick who is a bust, who never lived up to his potential, and 
Though he may be a great guy and a great teammate, and though he may play a role for teams down the road, for us, you're just not getting the production for what, what you're paying him, in my opinion. So it sucks that he's hurt. I hate the fact that he's hurt. But in terms of replacing his production, I think Teron Jackson could do it. You bring this kid, Janarius Robinson, in as depth, I think you're going to be good to go. Let me know what you think in the comment section. With that said, take care. Talk to you later, of course. Don't be a dingbat. You know, what's very interesting, too, is, is a lot of people keep bringing up Milton Williams. Well, they could put Milton Williams at the defensive end position. That is possibly true. Something you could do, and you can do it at times. But I'm telling you this. I, I may start him. I may He may become a starting defensive tackle before this season is over. If I don't get more production from guys like Fletcher Cox, Javon Hargrave, I'm telling you, I'm paying them guys a lot of money. They better start coming through for me because – Milton Williams, I think he could play. I think he's, he's got starting potential in this league. With that said, Denzel Washington out.